your head. He's making a chart display. Really? So apart from putting up a few pictures, what else have you achieved? We've only had half an hour. Bring me everything on all the security protocol. Somehow in Paris, MI5 got round security measures. I want all the documents, every scrap. Maybe I'll find out how MI5 did this before you do. Sure. Get on with it. Any sign of them? Sign of what? Don't play the silly, Billy. Minutes of the meeting where they decided to kill her, that's what I need. What if they don't exist? They exist. Security protocols? It's all we can find. Who's working my profile up? Harry? I'll lose my patience. Suddenly. I'm very impulsive, you see. I'm in despair, you see. That much. Bear that in mind. It's not true. You must. You know what this country lacks? A culture of death. We used to have one, of course, when we were Christians. Okay, I'm ready. All right, don't forget, we're only playing what if. You mean what if Harry organised the assassination of Princess Diana? I think he could have. You don't mean that. Don't I? It's the uh, conspiracy theories. They suck you in. Yeah, yeah, they do. Some say it was caused by Satanists because Diana's Mercedes crashed into the 13th pillar of the tunnel. Then there's the theory that the limo was stolen a month before by the Israeli Secret Service. The steering was modified, so it could be controlled by remote radio signal. Now Mossad did it. No. MI5 and MI6 did it in a joint operation. And I'll show you how. The British Embassy in Paris denied ever knowing that Diana had arrived in Paris. But they did. And the night before she arrived at the Ritz, two very high-ranking MI6 officers arrived at the Embassy. Do you know who they were? Yeah, Mace and Civita. Heavy brigade. The point is, everything at the hotel was orchestrated. Look at this. What do you see? It's a classic stakeout procedure. Everything can be observed and overheard, but everything looks natural. What's this? How we killed the princess. At the front of the hotel, there are paparazzi. I don't have friends in to get quotes and photographs. But were they already journalists? Three of them, leading the jostling and shouting, can never be traced. And British security officers have been picked up on the hotel's CCTV loitering around all day. So what's going on? MI5 wanted Diana's party to switch cars. The Mercedes S600 parked at the front of the hotel is heavy and armoured. But the alternative car parked to the rear of the hotel is a light Mercedes S280, a much, much easier target, and driven by Henri Paul, head of security at the Ritz, but not the regular driver. And he was drunk? No, no, he wasn't. Now, that's the MI5, MI6 cover story. Diana killed in drunk drive accident. Henri Paul reported for duty at 10 p.m. No one reported him drunk. On CCTV, his movements are normal. The autopsy 
after his death in the crash showed his liver was normal. The police say the car left the Ritz at great speed. CCTV footage shows it left at normal speed. And a few days earlier, he'd passed a rigorous medical exam to renew his pilot's license because he had a passion to fly light aircraft. Yeah, but the police found high alcohol content in his blood. Yeah, but it wasn't his blood. His family claimed the samples were mixed up or even switched. The sample that was supposed to be Henri Paul's contained a large amount of carbon monoxide. It belonged to a suicide. He drank a lot before he killed himself by car exhaust fumes. OK, so an MI5, MI6 field team get Diana out of her usual car and into a more vulnerable one with a less experienced driver. What then? And they assassinate her by staging the accident. And they do it like this. The road by the Seine goes into a tunnel. Henri Paul accelerates to get away from the paparazzi who are following on motorbikes. Behind is a big white Mercedes. Now this is the control vehicle for the operation. Behind that is a small white Fiat Uno. The Fiat Uno overtakes first the control vehicle and then when Diana's car is deep inside the tunnel and most at risk, it pulls alongside and is driven by agents to distract Henri Paul at the crucial moment. Fiat Uno pulls away and behind there comes a motorbike with a pillion rider and this pillion rider is carrying a handheld strobe light. This strobe, smaller than a cigar, is tuned to a cycle of 12 hertz per second. Now the strobe blinds Henri Paul. Just for a moment, well, that's all it takes. The car crashes. I think this princess dies. At the 13th pillar. And Satan has his way. I'm believing it. God. Okay. If we have to, that's the story we'll give to Angela. Story or truth? Protect the heart of the nation. That's what we're meant to do in this job. Instead, did we rip it out? I found a trace of the committee. Look. Are these uh, registry files? Cached in our system. It's a backup. When you delete a file, the tag remains. And the file's still on the hard drive? No, I'm afraid not. It's been overwhite manually. But? But, back in the 90s, there was a famous scandal. A hacker got into the Thames house system. You mean that nine-year-old from Macclesfield? Yeah, well, he used a keystroke virus, and it's, it's still filed in a quarantine folder. And on it, there's a log of file names. <laughs> existed. So did the committee. And Harry's on it. What are we going to do? They've discovered something. No big idea, pretty boy. Dig a hole, your idea. I felt the vibrations in the wall. Dream. Escape from Stark 13. All right, I'll stop in. Steel bars in the bloody way, anyway. Get out. Dawn. You've got till dawn. Harry, if you denied it to Angela's face, tactical reasons, I can see that. But I have to ask you again, did you ever serve on something called the Contingent Events Committee? This is a printout from the registry computer. The record of the committee meeting was overwritten, but I have retrieved a mention of it. Also, this is your diary. 